The week is winding down already. This week has flown by and we got a few pieces. So let's get right into it and get you right back into your day. This is a new slasher series. Black and red. I'm playing with the design a little bit. Um, it's got the custom eyes in it. These are actually painted eyes. So I just sprayed a little bit and then did a little bit more of like the plum red around the cheeks little detailing on the side starts with that silver which I really really like I'm gonna get probably a couple more bottles of this stuff it's the it's not the FW it's the Dr. Phil's Dr. Phil Martins um, they use uh, calligraphy ink and they have a lot of pearlized stuff and the pearl is super thick and real shiny so I've got that on top and then feathering fading down into a solid black on the on the sides and on the belly um, basically just an overspray with white down first and then red and you can do it pretty much in any color and then just lots of detailing on the edges of that so cool slasher series coming out on this Aruku blank more ploppers this is the river to sea whopper plopper the 75 size it is the stout plump version the cool thing about these is that it kind of looks like a frog face it's one of the neat things about this i think it's really going to do some serious damage on the water um, once those frogs are out of their tadpole stages and things are getting going this is a great option for that this is in the wildfire tiger and the interpretation is for the whopper plopper so we've got that tread mark that tire tread marker scaling down the back and a moss green fading down into a very bright fluorescent green fluorescent yellow and of course that signature neon orange on the belly this is the pumpkin seed a little bit of iridescent plum orange base back into that bright pineapple yellow and then for this particular bait we're just laying down the um, it's a double wired two and a half inch thick ribbon and then kind of incorporating three or four layers of blue from light to dark into that feathering a little black shading and one of the one of the things that I like about these uh, pectoral fins. Hey, I actually said it. You know, I have the hardest time remembering this is a pectoral fin. I don't know why that is. I have a biology background, but it just, it screws me up every time. Um, but the pectoral fins, I actually shot a little bit of black onto the top, and then you get that accenting, which comes out real well. And then we accented the, uh, the curvature of the gill plate areas on these as well really like how these come out love doing whopper ploppers a lot of folks don't like doing them i like doing detailed stuff on them because it just looks so cool when it's finished also did a pumpkin seed but this is more of a gill pattern but you can see that this is a and this is a, a signature michael orenstein move he's gone over this and his and if you guys don't i, I always have to give homage to the people that have helped me along the way. Um, check out his tutorial videos at Lower Me and Custom Cranks on YouTube, on Facebook, on his website. Um, but he's got that, that signature. It's, this is the sky blue with the Doris metal mesh and then an orange fading back over top to a lime and tropical green. And then plum signatures on the top. Now look at the way this comes out. Look at how cool that looks underneath all of that, all the different layers in this. Really almost looks that, that three-dimensional on this particular type of lore. Just works really well. And then again, the gill plate shading. And just a little bit less because there's, there's so much going on in this bait. It's just a little bit less than, uh, than, I, sh than I shot. You can see that fade on that side as well. And then just a little bit of plum around the eyes, the signature river to see eyes. And uh, ready to go, ready to get shipped out. 
Josh, it's coming to you. This is another one of those mad killer clowns. The yellow and red signature clown, but done a little bit different. And again, this is that Createx Bloodline paint. Love this stuff. This stuff is absolutely becoming one of my favorite paints to, to throw. And then those crazy, wicked glow eyes. Fun bait. And last but certainly not least, I showed you guys the bluff crawl the other day. This is the T Rocks. T Rocks, obviously, for table rock because these are of signature table rock colors. You got that yellow into the purple and a real deep purple fade onto the back of this and also a really dark purple fade around the edge of the bill. Fluorescent orange eyes against white and then a fade from yellow down to green, the fluorescent green on the crawl segment patterns and then additional detailing. Th this is a lot of layers that go into something like this. It definitely isn't a, a two-step project. And then of course we have a fade onto the bill, yellow, and a fade going back. And just a little bit of segmenting accented on the belly and underside. But this is gonna be going online today on the website at www.jekyllbaits.com. That, my friends, is what we've got for you out of the shop today. If you guys have any questions or comments on the stuff that you've just seen today, by all means, leave it in the description underneath the description below, and I will see you for the spray session that's coming. It's going to be a good one. Hold on to your hats, folks. I'm giving away the game. <laughs> on one pattern.